Hey guys, it's D86644, and welcome back to more Let's Play Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. This is episode 7. Last video I stated we'd be leaving, and I was absolutely 100% truthful about that. But before we take off on our epic quest, I have, there's one more side quest I'd like to take. I love the his music. Yes, I do. It's time to do the uh, side quest with the kids. Oh, I hate the side quest with the kids. Ugh. The kids, I mean, they're kids, you know? They're, they're just a nuisance, annoying. But they're kids, so she just basically tells you she wants you to get the kids to try to come back to school because they're skipping. And the kids go under the gang name of the Killer Bees, even though even though they they look like they're like five. Just look at them. I mean, come on! Oh, they're so old. So talk to them. The g main guy is the one with the guy with the beret. What? Oh, I was talking to the guy with the big nose. That guy looks like a pig. What the heck? Yo, bud, you got a problem with us Killer Bees, huh? Do you? Ugh, she, she, the kid's like, oh, annoying teacher. So basically, he wants you to play a game of hide and go seek. That's so epic, right? So he's not gonna leave the island, which you really wouldn't want to do anyway. So I will be getting him in somewhat of an order. Let's see, let's start off with the one that's a boy, but it looks like a girl. Put in the comments if you think that looks like a girl. Because I thought it did. And maybe it's... Uh, I'm not even going to say it. And that, that guy is also a part of another side quest. <coughs> you're awesome. Why would you whine like that and then say you're awesome? And there is a potion shop. Right there. Uh, with the ladies. And you want to go there later to get a potion, which you cannot get now because um, we haven't gotten an empty bottle yet. There is an empty bottle on this island that I will cover later on once you, once you can get it. You can't really achieve it right now. Mm. Mm. A lot of people don't like to do this side quest right now, but I prefer to do it. Just because I like to be different than everyone else. And there's the pig. How can they jump from such a huge height? Look at that. Link can barely do it without dying. Look at and look how fast that guy runs. It's an un unpredictable pattern. Wow, I'm doing a lot better now than in my practice run. Down, down, down. Only two left. The first three are pretty easy to find, but the last one is almost impossible to find unless you have the guide. I mean, you have to be... You have to literally look the entire island. And holy crap, that guy has lo strong legs. What is he, wearing those things from Half-Life? We don't want to talk to you, hippie. Go away. That guy gives you a song later on with the Wind Waker. Spoilers, there's a Wind Waker in this game. You didn't know that already. Okay. Follow oh, this guy wearing trousers. Those pigs, you can pick up those pigs and do a mini side quest that gets you a few rubies, but I prefer not to. Stop whining. Okay, last guy. He rolls to this tree and he flies out. How are you supposed to know that? And make sure you dodge the beggar man because he's going to try to get you and talk to you and I will be talking to the beggar man so I'm sorry for you guys you have to listen to him this guy is the hardest one cuz he's the captain he runs fast oh I'm lucky yeah you got me Arr! what is he a pirate can't believe you found all four of us take this yay pizza heart number two two uh, this is our favorite possession. You've proven worthy. One more thing. We need you to apologize to Miss Marie. Yes, I'll do that. 
basically you go in here and she's just gonna say oh the killer bees like me now and this is part of the side quest and you you have to do this if you want to get well 50 rubies of course but if you want to get a actually you have to do the side quest it's mandatory I just realized that because one of the Triforce charts requires you to get it. A, a little paper that allows you to get into a house that you can... You have to go get a... Uh, I'll, bleh, I don't, spoilers! I don't... I need to shut up now. They talk about joy pendants and they want you to get it. One that's in the top of a tree. And they never shut up, do they? I just want to kill them, but you can't because you're a good citizen. Oh no! Where am I going? Oh yeah. The joy pendant is in this tree. Hey. Da -da -da -da! My first one, because the screwy heads of the Forsaken Fortress didn't give one to me. And also, the last one was supposed to give me a pearl that you could break and find all kinds of items. Well, guess what? The thing hates me and just gave me one ruby. That's called the Let's Player's Curse right there. Makes you suck worse than a five-year-old. So the kids want you to give it to Maggie, the killer bees. Also, another observation I found in, well, pretty much every single Zelda game. Every single Zelda game, all most of the main characters are around the same age as Link. Even Ocarina of Time is probably the best example because they, he, and when he's young, all the, every main character is young, and then when he grows older, all the main characters are old. So yeah. Time to give the joy pendant to this lady. Tech, I really don't have to do this now, but I feel like it. So excuse me if you get mad. And that's also a good way to, to show off the spoilers bag. You just equip it with Y or whatever key you want to put it on. Button. You get 20 more rubies. Because she's a nice old lady. And why does she have pink hair? Basically, you have to give her 20 of them. And she'll get you, uh, the first thing I think is the cabana chart. And then she gives you a mask that'll help you see. Okay. And the only thing left to do on this island is talk to the beggar man. So, the moment we've all been waiting for. The Shut up. You're wrecking the moment. Shut up. Jerk. You're the jerk. Talk to the beggar man. Come on, beggar man. Oh, if you please listen to my tale of woe. Oh, my sweetheart, poor Maggie. The scoundrels took her. A single rupee. The secret to the Forsaken Fortress. Now he'll never bother you again. Yay! Finally. Now I get to go in my boat. And we are off to the great seas. Here we go! Eee. So we have to sail west. East, I mean. It's a complete opposite of where you're supposed to go. I'm gonna skip everything on the way there. I know there's a little uh, pirate hideout thing. The, I'm gonna skip that. I'm gonna do all those in a separate video later. Also, thing for me to point out is how to use the C chart. Just put up on the D-pad, and it brings up this C chart that on the right shows all your treasure charts and uh, treasures you've actually collected. And this is more for, like, let's see, the tingle chart that he sold us to look at. The one I'm on is windfall. Then the fairies are ruby upgrades, and then the one circled is tingle himself. That's his island. Uh, that's the only chart we have right now. So that's that comes useful later when you have to do the what the heck when you have to do the missions uh collecting all the treasure chart stuff also if you go between those two arrows you can 
get uh, rubies when you go on these little thingies. And the max ruby up rubies you can get right now is 200. And something extremely odd that I've never seen anything else like it. The, I mean, this thing is weird. You can jump with your boat by pressing R. Don't ask me how you can do that because that's impossible in real life. How do you jump with a boat, nonetheless a sailboat? The boat, the water's kind of clipping through the boat too. A lot of people complained about this being that sailing was too much of a pain, but I love sailing because you get to listen to the epic music, the great sea. I'm coming up on my first island, Dragon Roost. There on the horizon. That is our destination link, Dragon Roost Island. The most epic music in the game, known by every single person that lives. High atop the island's peak lives the spirit of the skies, a great dragon by the name of Velu. Mm -hmm. You must go see the dragon and request from him a jewel called Din's Pearl. Ask the people of the Rito tribe who inhabit this island about how to see the dragon. Oh, I almost forgot. Wait just a moment. This is the Wind Waker. It is a baton of sword that was used long ago when the people when the gods played music the prayed of the gods in those days simply using it allowed one to borrow the power of the gods but i don't know if it still works even so i might i thought it might be of some use to you perhaps you should try it using the wind waves is extremely simple three-fourths time all you have to do is move the c stick to follow the description of what you what you want to be played there's also some great melodies that are being played by this thing. Also, there's uh, four fourths time and six six time, I think. That's actually a real song in the game, which we'll get to in a much later video. Oh, 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 oh. That's it, Link. That was not bad for your first time using the Wind Waker. Not bad at all. You can also conduct... Oh, six-fourths, okay. Da, da, da! Self-explanatory. Yep. I think you can understand what why you would get the Wind Waker in this game. I always equip the Wind Waker to Z. It's just a habit of mine. So I think that's enough for this video. If you like my videos, subscribe to me, TAD6644, and I'll see you guys later.